Welcome to the Ancient Alternative View. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Good day to all watching the Ancient Alternative View, the place where everyone's opinion matters. Remember, the truth has been hidden and covered for many years, so all theories to our ancient past are on the table. I look forward to hearing your views. Please like, comment and subscribe below. Thank you. Are the Long U Caves the ultimate evidence of a lost ancient civilization thousands of years ago? The mysterious builders of the Long U Caves had the technology, the means to remove and transport nearly a million cubic meters of rock. Furthermore, what makes the Long U Caves even more fascinating is the fact that there are no, nothing, nada, historically recorded that mentions the mysterious underground complex. One of the most mysterious structures ever built by a mysterious group of builders can be found at Phoenix Hill in the vicinity of the village of Cheyenne, Bay Chun on the Lan River in Longyu County, Kizhou Prefecture, Zhejiang Province, China. All around the planet, there are structures that defy explanation in every single way. The Longyu Caves are one of those structures, and according to many, the ultimate evidence of a lost ancient building civilization. But what makes the Longyu Caves so important and extraordinary? Throughout the years, many researchers have gazed upon the beauty and precision of the Longyu Caves and have concluded that the Longyu Grotto Caves are magnificent and momentous and the result of sophisticated construction systems by builders unknown to history. Furthermore, the precision present in the smallest details is indicative of a superior craftsmanship which according to mainstream history should have not been possible thousands of years ago. However, what is perhaps one of the most important facts to listen to when it comes down to the Long U Caves is the fact that there were no historical records that mention this complex. Given the fact that the ancient Chinese were, let's say, very, very meticulous record keepers, it remains a great mystery why there are no records of the gigantic underground complex anywhere. In fact, the only thing researchers know and understand is that the excavation of the entire complex would have been a super massive project as it would have involved the removal and movement of nearly one million cubic meters of rock. The obvious question that many experts are not asking, who had the technology and the means to remove and transport nearly a million cubic meters of rock thousands of years ago? What kind of ancient technologies were present at the time which allowed mystery builders to create such a fascinating construction. The manpower and the technology needed to create something like the Longyu Caves is unimaginable. Experts have calculated the average digging rate per day, per person, and come to the conclusion that it would have taken 2,000 people working for at least eight years eight years to complete this project. I'd hesitate a guess to say that this would be a lot more because as an engineer I have to say each one of these absolutely superb structures has to be planned. Planning can take as long as the building. I'd like you to bear that in mind, ancient alternative view. Experts around the world have been left baffled by the complexity and precision of the Longyu Caves prompting numerous questions that no one has been able to answer. Who built the Longyu Caves? What civilization built them? What kind of technology was employed during construction of these caves? What types of measurements and apparatus were used? How did the ancient builders achieve such precision? Why are there no historical records about this monument? How was this monument created how did the builders of Longyu Caves remove and transport one million cubic meters of rock? Why and how the five caverns were able to keep their integrity for the thousands of years until they were 
excavated. The Longview Caves are massive. The average floor area of each cave is a thousand square meters with heights of up to 35 meters. And the total area covered is in excess of 30,000 square meters. The fact remains, all of these questions point to the fact that the Longview Caves may be a result of a lost civilization of engineering builders with technology thousands of years ago that allowed them to achieve unimaginable things in our distant past. Maybe after all, ancient cultures around the globe were somehow interconnected thousands of years ago. There is so much evidence to this and possessed, now lost technologies that allowed them to erect such fascinating structures thousands of years ago. Is that so on the realms of our possibilities? We can only conclude that the Longview Caves are a true ancient wonder built by this mysterious group of builders who somehow achieved the unimaginable thousands of years ago. I'd love to hear your ancient alternative view on the Long Q Caves. Hello everyone. I'd like to bring your attention to Ancient Origins website. If you have a look up on Long Q on there, it's one of my source websites that I have a little look at. See what they've come up with with their research. They go through 10 different questions. Have a look at it yourself. And what I'd like to bring your attention to is question nine here. The scale of the Long Q grottoes is magnificent and momentous. The design was delicate and scientific. The construction was sophisticated and the precision is indicative of superior craftsmanship. Much like many of our different ancient sites, would you agree? According to Yang Hoxrun, an expert at the Archaeological Institute of the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, at the bottom of each cave, the ancient builders wouldn't be able to see what the others were doing in the next grotto. But the inside of each cave had to be parallel with that of the other, or else the wall would be through. Thus the measure operators should have been very advanced. There must have been some sort of layout about the sizes, locations and the distances between the caves beforehand. With the help of modern equipment and methods, the investigators measured the sizes of the walls and surprisingly found that the overall construction is extremely accurate. The walls between the caves are of the same thickness in different sections. So how did they achieve this precision? And what were their methods? Now, this is a question that I pose to the ancient alternative view to see what you would think about different apparatus that may have been used. I mean, of course, we're led to believe that everything is made from sticks and stones and copper chisels in our ancient past. I'd love to see how these marks were put onto the wall. Were they chiseled on? Is this a chiseled on phenomenon? What were the grottos used for? Now, you're welcome to read ancient origins. You're Welcome to have your own opinions. I would love to hear what you think. Could these have been ancient water storages? Well, that seems to defeat the object because if, you know, cataclysms were coming, wouldn't you need somewhere to go? Maybe this wasn't a cataclysm. Maybe they came afterwards. Maybe these were water storage because there were no real signs of fish found in there. So why would this be the case? Surely there would be. I'd love to hear your ancient on or alternative view on what the Long U caves were actually used for and who may have carved these. Who were the builders, the engineers, as we've discussed in the episode? I would love to hear your views on the Long U caves. This is part one. We're going to go on to a part two and we're going to be looking at the Yangsheng Quarry maps. And we're going to have a look around China. We touched on the Tarim mummies today, which are a huge, huge part of our ancient story going backwards. But link Europe to China. And have proof that they had connections. Now, we'll have a look at that in the next episode. I wish you all the very best.
Thank you very much indeed for watching. Remember, there's always an ancient alternative view. Thank you for watching.